There's a little piece of Portugal in the Atlantic Ocean, Madeira, a volcanic archipelago, 660 kilometers off the coast of Africa. How do you ensure the supply of water and electricity on an island with such a rugged landscape? Against the backdrop of global climate change, a European project has optimized the Soko Heidos hydroelectric power station to provide electricity and water all year round. The idea was to collect water from the north coast and transport it to the south coast, where the people are. With the pumping station, we now have more water resources because we accumulate the water above, at the top of the mountain, and we accumulate it here at a lower level so that after, we can pump and lose as little water as possible. The ancients already understood the need to transport water from the mountainous north to the drier south via Levadas. Some of these stone pipes date back to the 15th century. Madeira has 2,000 kilometers of Levadas. The water is then channeled into the bowels of the mountain. We only had a little water storage capacity. We built a 5.4 kilometer tunnel to bring all this water and store it, let's say upstream, from our hydroelectric power station, which already existed before this project. We also had to dig tunnels in the mountain, which was a major construction challenge. Thanks to this project, the use of renewable energy on the island now stands at 33%. Wind power is used to send the water stored in the power station back to this reservoir on the hill if necessary. The water in this container is treated for human consumption and agriculture, but it also has a third use. Here we have a volume of water that is transferred during the night to higher ground and that goes through a turbine during the day. Let's say it's a strategic volume that is used to adapt to this level of energy production. The total cost of this project is 34.7 million euros. 17.3 million of this sum has been co-financed by the European Cohesion Policy. The south of the island is the driest part, therefore its needs are more critical. Francisco has a banana plantation. Since the Soko Hidos plant was optimised, he's more relaxed about his work, even when there's a drought. I grow 18 tonnes of bananas and the watering lasts for four and a half hours and takes place every 11 days. It used to be hard work, but now things have improved a lot. The water enters the tunnels and gets to the corner faster and better. The Rijo Star Awards considers this project to be one of the best initiatives co-financed by Europe over the last 15 years.